So if you haven't watched or been paying attention to this series, right now we're in the first round playoffs up against the Warriors and you know the Warriors started off hot. They went 2-0 at Oracle Arena. We went back to LA and the Lakers sealed the game right here in game 3 with Kelly Oubre hitting the dagger. And at Staples Center, the Lakers started to play well. They win game 3 and they win game 4. So now it's a tied series. In game number 5, the Lakers fed Boogie the ball every possession down. And so with DeMarcus Cousins hitting a hook shot, the Lakers suddenly had the lead. Curry had a chance to win the game, but he couldn't get that to fall. So the Warriors lose game number 5, and in game number 6 at Staples Center, they have a 4 point lead. Kobe Bryant goes back, goes throwback, and gets that 3 to go, and it's a 1 point lead to the Warriors now. The, the Lakers have to foul, and they decide to foul Klay Thompson. A man that doesn't miss free throws. He doesn't miss shots in general, to be honest. He's a splash brother. Three point lead to the Warriors, 19 seconds left. The Lakers are running a play for D'Angelo Russell, hoping he gets open. He gets a good look. D'Angelo Russell doesn't get that to fall, and the Lakers have to foul again, and they foul Clay Thompson. And that was pretty much the game right there. Clay Thompson hit his free throws, and with two seconds left, Kobe Bryant couldn't get a shot off and the Lakers lose game number six, a chance that they had to take this series. So we go back into Oracle Arena for game seven, a final game to decide who takes this series. Game number seven at Oracle Arena, Steph Curry versus the Lakers. It's about to go down. Let's just get into this, man. It's game number seven. I mean, what else can I say? It's clutch time, it's crunch time, let's go. And now we've reached game seven, winner take all. You've both played in a number of these over your careers. What is the key to sealing the deal in that decisive game seven? Well, when it's down to a one game season, and it's anyone's game, the biggest thing you have to do is go possession by possession. And you can't change the thing, Shaq, that got you there. A lot of guys like to change up. Oh, it's game seven. The only one who should change up is your best player. He should say, I wanted a little bit more today. That's about it. The coach that comes in and talks about plays is the one that's nervous. The one that comes in and said, listen, we've seen a lot of each other. We know each other inside and out. We got to go hit them, get to the biggest shots, crucial moment, take advantage of them, and we will bring home the series. This is where it all matters, it's game seven. Steph Curry starts it off getting a lab to go, one of his signature moves, that high layup arcing shot, and Hassan Whiteside says, you know what, you might get it once, but you're not getting it twice. Hassan Whiteside blocks that shot, and D'Angelo Russell goes all the way, because you know how it is. Steph Curry might be a gun on offense, but he's lacking on the other side of the court. DeMarcus Cousins with a nice fadeaway jumper, and it's a three-point lead to the Warriors. Two minutes 20 left in this first quarter. Steph Curry, spin move, kicks it out to Klay Thompson, the other splash brother who gets that midi to fall. It's a five-point lead to the Warriors. Two minutes 14 left, and Draymond Green is getting hyped, and so are the Warriors. It's game number seven. It's what they have to do. Seven-point lead to the Warriors already, and they're playing great defense. The Lakers can't get a shot to go. They can't find their rhythm, and DeMarcus Cousins is trying to get them back in this game, but Jordan Clarkson throws a bad pass to DeMarcus Cousins. That's a turnover, and Iggy makes them pay on the other side of the floor, and it's already a nine-point lead to the Warriors. The Warriors doubled the Lakers' score in the first quarter, so now in the second, the Lakers need to fire back and start producing. Draymond Green says no to that idea as he splashes down that three. It's 33 to 17. A terrible start for the Los Angeles Lakers. Hassan Whiteside needs to start producing. He gets an and one to fall, and this is where the Lakers need to go on a little bit of a run. Great screen by Hassan Whiteside, leaving D'Angelo Russell wide open for a three. He knocks that down. D'Angelo Russell needs to step up in this game. J.R. Smith. A bad look, but it rattles in. That's a shooter's roll right there. And it's suddenly only a 10-point game. Kobe Bryant feeds DeMarcus Cousins in the low post. 
backing down Draymond Green and dunks it all over Draymond Green. Beautiful slam right there by DeMarcus Cousins. Clay Thompson on J.R. Smith. Team no defense. He just steps back and it, it's an easy shot for Clay Thompson. Festus is nearly at the free throw line. Misses that free throw. Randall on the board. Kicks it up to Kelly Oubre. Down to the injured Jabari Parker who gets that slam to go. Nice cinematics right there. Great steal by Julius Randall. Kicks it up to Jabari Parker. Feeds Kelly Oubre who slams it down. And it's 31 to 39. Going into the second half of this game, as Stephen Curry couldn't get a half court shot to fall. So it's close now. It was a bad first quarter for the Lakers, and they stepped it up in the second quarter, leaving it a 31 to 39 game at the half. Now we skip to the fourth quarter. The Lakers had a beautiful third quarter. It definitely wasn't me playing. Thank God for simulation with Simcast, baby. 58 to 58. It's a tied fourth quarter. The Jordan Clarkson comes out of nowhere. He's like Michael Jordan on that possession. Great block up by Boogie on one end, leaving Clarkson on offense on the other, who posterizes Draymond Green. And that's a great dunk by Jordan Clarkson. Kobe Bryant couldn't get the layup to go on the defensive Andre Iguodala. And with Steph Curry going for the layup, Boogie says, get that out of here. DeMarcus Cousins sends Steph Curry's shot out of the arena. He sends it flying, and Steph Curry falls down to the ground. He thought it was a foul, but that was all ball. Iggy, though, we left him wide open. He gets that mid-range shot to go, and the Warriors have a one-point lead. Four minutes left in this game. They give it to DeMarcus Cousins. This is where DeMarcus Cousins needs to shine. He's on Andre Godala, a baby compared to Boogie Cousins. We get posterized. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Michael Kidd Gilchrist kills us right there, but we kill him right back with DeMarcus Cousins. One point lead to the Lakers, three minutes left in this game. It's the boogie show right now. Great screen by DeMarcus Cousins, knocking Iggy down. We feed DeMarcus, he misses the layup, gets it back, puts it up, gets the foul. And Draymond Green did not like that foul. He was complaining to the refs, and the refs all knew, everyone knew, in the whole of the arena, that that was a foul. And Draymond Green didn't like it. So with Boogie at the line, a chance to make it a three-point game, he gets the first free throw to fall. Two-point lead to the Lakers, and he makes the second one count as well. It's a three-point lead, two minutes 15 to the Lakers. Great defensive stop on one end, and now it's time for a second possession down the court. They couldn't get Boogie in the post, so they decide to go with a pick and roll. Boogie to Hassan Whiteside, great ball movement, and Andre Iguodala, my bad, that's Draymond Green, gets absolutely posterized by the beast, Hassan Whiteside. Hassan's been doing work on defense in this game, and it's a big game to be doing work on defense. It's game number seven, but he's also had some clutch baskets on offense. Kobe hitting that step back jumper to go with Klay Thompson all over him. It's 76 to 69. The Warriors are not done yet. They make it a five point game. The Lakers feed Boogie down low. Nice jump shot. It's a seven point game for the Lakers. Warriors back to Klay Thompson from downtown. He gets that three to go and it's a four point game with a minute left. 48 seconds, still a four point game. A bad turnover by DeMarcus Cousins. Klay Thompson running the break, gives it up to Steph Curry. High arcing layup. And now with the Warriors getting a quick steal, Michael Kidd Gilchrist goes all the way, gets the layup to go, and it's a tie game with 20 seconds left in this game. That's how you know it's a Hall of Fame cheese. We were up by seven points with a minute left, and now it's a tied game with 13 seconds left. We're running a play for DeMarcus Cousins. It's low post. There he gets fouled right there. And he's going to the line for two. Boogie misses the first free throw. He's disappointed with himself. But he hits the second and makes up for it. It's a timeout to the Warriors. And Boogie's not happy with himself. He knows he should have made that. Kobe Bryant's feeling it. Boogie's feeling it. It's time for the Lakers to play this defense. Lock down Steph Curry, lock down Klay Thompson, and lock down Draymond Green. They can't get a shot. They're running a play for Klay Thompson. They couldn't get it to him. Draymond Green for the win. Draymond, mid-range. It's off. Boogie plays great defense. Hassan plays great defense. Boogie on the rebound. Kicks it to D'Angelo Russell, who gets fouled by Steph Curry, and is going to the line for two. This is to make it a three-point lead to the Los Angeles Lakers. He hits the first free throw. D'Angelo Russell with five seconds left to make it a three-point game. He hits the second 
free throw. It's a three-point game with five seconds left. No timeouts for the Warriors. They have Steph Curry. They have Klay Thompson. Steph Curry gets a good look. He passes it off. Klay Thompson for the win. It's off. It wouldn't even be for the win. It would have been a tied game. But, you know, it doesn't even matter. Draymond Grease know he should have hit that mid-range shot. And that cost the Warriors game seven. So with the Los Angeles Lakers being clutched towards the end of the game, they're taking game number seven and advancing to the second round playoffs. And you're never going to guess who they're facing up against. DeMarcus Cousins had a brilliant game. We fed him the ball pretty much every possession down. If we couldn't feed it to him, we ran a pick and roll and D'Angelo Russell hit the threes that we needed him to. We locked down Steph Curry, we locked down Klay Thompson and we had a great defensive game. That is why we won Game 7. It was a brilliant series facing up against these Warriors, man. These guys are a tough team. I thought we were out. I thought we were down. Losing the first two games was tough. But now we're up against a pretty big opponent. We're up against Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, and the Oklahoma City Thunder. It's about to go down. If you guys want to see the next episode facing up against the Thunder, leave that like. Subscribe if you're new. I'm out. Peace.